You might not know it, but every time you flush the toilet, you could be polluting the River Thames. The sewage can either go into the streets or it can go into the river. We have bumped our way through turds going up Bow Creek. Thames Water says it has a solution in the form of the Thames Tideway Tunnel. Our tunnel will create a new space for the sewage. Yeah. It's what London needs. Of course, everything comes with a price tag. And this super sewer is expected to cost us 4.2 billion. I, I don't mind paying that amount of money at all, no. I feel the government should fund it. It's nothing to do with the water companies. That should be out of our taxes and our rates. Whatever the answer, the project is already well underway. But will it clean up the Thames for good? So this is the River Thames, and unfortunately, when we flush the toilet, this is where a lot of the sewage ends up. So that's mainly because London's sewer system was designed and built 150 years ago, squarely in the Victorian era. London's population was way, way smaller. Nowadays, there's a lot more people living here and going for their daily ritual, number ones and twos. And unfortunately, this amount of sewage can't be handled by the system, and a lot of it flows into the river right here. The situation used to be a lot worse. There was something called the Big Stink, where the river was so polluted that poisonous gases were pouring off it, uh, stinging people's eyes, burning their throats, and even harming their health. Obviously, I'm standing here today. I haven't keeled over just yet, so the situation is improving, but it's still not perfect. At 215 miles long, the Thames is the longest river in England. Over this distance, it provides a home to more than 100 species of fish. However, these habitats are threatened by the 39 million tonnes of raw sewage pouring into the river every year. Someone who knows only too well about the terrible tide of pollution is fisherman Keith Arthur. I, I've sat here many years ago now when the, the, the sewage from Ham actually went into the river and, and we used to call condoms Thames trout. We'd catch them, they'd catch them around our way, oh, another Thames trout. And, and if the river was flowing quite hard and we were ledgering, which is a still bait further out into the river, you'd wind in and there'd be shreds of toilet paper all the way down the line. It's not what you want. No, it's completely unacceptable. I mean, I'm going back a long time for that, 35, 40 years, but now that still happens. It's hard to explain. It's, it's chronically cleaner and it's critically worse because there's less flow when we do get a sewage incident which is it, it only needs a decent shower of rain unbelievably for raw sewage to come into the river for take hammersmith for example you get a 20 minute half an hour maybe heavy thundery shower that will inundate the sewage works and the sewage can either go into the streets or it can go into the river when it goes into the river, to 85, 90% of the population, it's invisible. They don't know, and what they don't know, they can't care about. If it went onto the streets, 100% of the population would be in uproar, wouldn't they? If you were paddling out of your front door through, well, the stuff that goes down the lavatory, basically, if you were paddling through that, you would want something done about it. And us as anglers, we paddle in it, we fish in it. Anglers aren't the only ones affected. With each stroke, rowers like this could be taking a risk. Downstream, at Greenwich Yacht Club, people on the water have been dealing with this issue for a long time and know all about how bad it can get. It's cleaner than it used to be, that's the easiest thing to say. In the 60s, uh, racing in dinghies on the river was an annual day and if you went in, it was three days in hospital uh, and there were no fish. Uh, it's not like that anymore. Um, none of our rowing crew have ever fallen in in 11 years and I intend to keep it that way. If you dip your sleeve in the water, that piece of clothing goes in the wash. If you eat uh, a sandwich, you must keep it wrapped up so it doesn't touch your hand whilst you're eating it. Peter is the coxswain at the club, which has more than 400 members who are regularly involved with a range of activities on the water. The man in charge, Commodore Nick Day, believes a real transformation is needed. Uh, pollution is clearly really important to us. I mean, I don't know whether you've seen in the background, but there's thousands of apartments now uh, on the riverside here that weren't there before. And every day, uh, every single person living in those apartments goes to the smallest room in the house. And uh, the consequences have to go somewhere. You can imagine that the infrastructure wasn't there to support that kind of density of residents. So it's really important to us 
particularly here, that the river should be clean. I've been in the water myself for 45 minutes one day, trying to get my dinghy uh, back upright again, refusing to accept help, determined to do it. And I started up there and ended up down there. Uh, and uh, took a mouthful of water. What did it taste like? Did you get ill? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I didn't get ill, although my wife was convinced uh, that it would probably kill me, but it, it, it was fine. But, but it, clearly there's a health risk. Health was the reason London's original sewers were built in the first place. Between 1830 and 1860, tens of thousands of people died of cholera as a result of sewage being discharged directly into the water they used to wash, bathe and drink from. When the pleasure boat, Princess Alice, sunk in the river after a collision, most of the 600 or so passengers who were killed died not from drowning, but because of the pollution in the water. Victorian architect Joseph Bazalgette was tasked to help the city clean up its act. He designed and built 82 miles of enclosed brick sewers and 1,100 miles of street sewers to stop sewage and the diseases it brings covering the streets of London. More than a century later, these sewers are now unable to cope with the demands of a modern capital city. So in 2016, Thames Water started building their successor. So I'm standing at the top of the lift shaft of the Thames Tideway Tunnel and it's a far cry from London's original sewer systems which were built in the 19th century. From above ground you might not even be able to tell that the sewer system is actually here but why is the £4.2 billion project so important? The massive tunnel will run 16 miles from Acton in West London to Abbey Mills in the east. It would take a car travelling at 40 miles an hour nearly half an hour to drive down it. It will be 7.2 metres wide in diameter, the width of an average UK road, and it will be buried between 35 metres and 65 metres underground. So the scale is impressive, but what exactly will it do? So this is one of our TBMs on this site. Uh, TBM stands for Tunnel Boring Machine, and it will be actually creating our tunnels, uh, 25 kilometres in total, but these two are about an 11 kilometre drive uh, between them. So that will actually join up to all the different sewage networks across London and that will be our new space for the sewage. The Victorian um, sewage system will still be used but this will be um, a bigger and a newer version. It's one of the largest construction projects London has ever seen but many of the city's residents aren't even aware of what's happening just below their feet. Say you have something like um, a new railway line, it's visible change but the, the change will never be visible, but the actual environmental side of it, the impact it's going to have, and we use this term, reconnecting London with the River Thames, I think that's so true, because although the Thames is still part of our everyday life, it's not in the right condition it needs to be, and that's not really acceptable. So I think it will change in the sense that it will have a better impact on London, a better outlook on London, a city that's ever growing, and it's worth taking care of the environment, um, and one of our biggest assets, the, the river. So massive impact, I think. The first part of the tunnel has been completed and it's already having an effect. Uh, there is a pumping station at the top of Bow Creek, that's the foot of the River Lee, which um, takes the northern outfall sewer and uh, reboots it to go the last journey to Beckton um, before they put the new super sewer, and it's the first bit of the Tideway Tunnel really, from um, Three Mills down to Beckton. Um, the, all the overflow used to go in, um, measured in millions of tonnes, into Bow Creek. And we, yes, we have bumped our way through turds going up Bow Creek uh, if it had been raining heavily. Uh, it is now much cleaner. We've seen kingfishers there. A seal was seen there a couple of weeks ago. Not all the way up, but getting up that way. Um, we've seen seals as far upstream as Limehouse. Um, I myself have eaten a sea bass caught at Woolwich. And I've seen shrimps and crabs uh, living under the slipway just down here. I think it's a cure. Unless there's a breakdown that shouldn't break down, because all it is is a big hole that's going to be carrying rubbish. So unless something breaks down from where it comes from our lavatory and goes into that big tunnel, it's not going to impact on the river anymore. It's going to be carried down to, to Beckton Works or it's going to be treated. And it is going to, uh, and this is a very strong word to use, but in my opinion, it will honestly eradicate the problem. That's certainly a bold statement, 
But if it is to eradicate the issue of sewage, it's sure to come at a cost. Do you think it's worth, you know, the massive investment that it's going to cost? Absolutely. Yeah, I do. I know there's a bit of fuss about that, but it, what has to be, has to be. But what about the general public right here on the streets of London? They'll be paying for the project through their water bills, so we asked them what they thought about it. I, I don't mind paying that amount of money at all, no. I mean, the amount of tourists that go to the Thames and that sort of thing, don't they? All the Tower Bridge and everything on the Thames. I, I don't think they'd be impressed with a load of sewage wandering around the river. So, no, I'd be quite happy to pay for it, Yeah. You know. I feel the government should fund it. It's nothing to do with the water companies. That should be out of our taxes and our rates. And I don't know why the government aren't funding something to maintain a city. That should be their responsibility. They can't hive it off to private water companies. Each region has its own area of concern. For London, it's the Thames. For coastal regions, it's the coast. Canals, you have the canal ways. I think we should all be paying for the parts of the world that we live in. I guess it's important that it's clean and, and, and looks clean. No one wants sewage flowing in a river that's going through the middle of a city. Sometimes these projects run so high over cost, you know, and it, one wonders whether it would have been easier to put a pipe, and drop a long pipe along the Thames inside and under the water. But the experts appear to know. Well, we just patch things up. We need to really, you know, build infrastructure that's solid and it will last and it makes economical and financial sense. We all benefit that way. As the river moves on, the Thames Tideway Tunnel is just another chapter, but one that could potentially make life far better for generations to come. So in 20 years time, what kind of river could we expect to see? If I'm still around, I just hope it will be better. That's all. I don't think we'll all be diving in and swimming there. Less smell, less unsightly sights along the shores. Um, no condoms on the beach, uh, for example. Um, better health yeah you know we're continually piling people onto the planet aren't we and, and especially within the m25 and and especially around the river so th there are going to be more and more people but it's a pretty big tunnel it will take a lot of poo to fill it uh, yeah it'll be a huge difference i mean it's already pretty clean the river as uh, rivers go i think worldwide uh, in the middle of great conurbations like this. But uh, yeah, it will make a massive difference. And the fishermen amongst us, I think, will be also very happy.